What's up guys, today I'm bringing you a video about the uh, Jabo DP4 auto dosing pump. Um, it's a forehead dosing pump. You can uh, have it turn on about 24 times a day. Um, so you can really spread out your, uh, your dosing volume. Um, which is what I'm doing with my alkalinity. I've really been having um, alkalinity being used up in this tank a ton now. Um, so. Uh, I was trying to dose with just a Drew's doser and I was very unsatisfied with that and I wanted to get something that um, was at pretty accurate but I could also really spread out the uh, time throughout the day and it was going to be accurate. So I went ahead and went with the, the uh, Jabo. Um, there's not really much in the way of videos or reviews on this so um, I'll give you my, my impressions of it so far. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. Um, right now I'm going to run through and show you guys how to set it, how to calibrate it, and uh, how to go through and set times and stuff. It came packaged in the typical Jabo styrofoam type box. Two sides of the line and it had this cover here. And it comes with an extra dosing head. So I'm going to bring the pump up here. We'll go through on... Uh, how to use the pump, how to set it, how to calibrate it. Let me pull it up here. I've only so far have been using one channel um, on, the, uh, on the pump. Let me see if I can keep this in, uh, in view here. So these are your uh, menu buttons here. Um, it's going to probably be really hard to see on the uh, camera. Crap. So there you can see uh, the date and the time. And I already have that set right now. Let's see if turning off this light helps a little bit. I'll just keep picking it up to show you. <coughs> so anyways, um, first thing you're going to want to do when you get the, uh, get the dosing pump is you're going to want to calibrate each head. So what you got to do is get some water, which I have right here, um, and then of course some like airline tubing or something so you can actually hook it up to the pump. And you put one end in to your uh, water cup. This is just RODI water. And then you got to have some sort of measuring cup. I have this one from BRS that uh, you get with their salts and stuff but it's 100 milliliters so basically how you calibrate this thing is to 100 milliliters so you go to the manual calibration and you hold the up arrow and then the pump runs and then when it hits 100 milliliters you let go of the button and then it'll give you a number um, and that number calculates to how many revolutions that motor made in order to get to 100 milliliters that's how it calibrates so we're gonna do that right now you hit the up arrow and then it says correct pumps one two three four and then you can expand this up to eight more dosing heads um, with their expansion doser thing so for the purpose of this video we're just gonna do the one pump because that's all I have hooked up right now but it's the same throughout the, um, the entire unit all the pumps you do exactly the same so right now it's blinking on one and let me hold it up to the camera so you can see what it looks like Okay. I'm sorry if that's hard to see guys so we got our measuring cup and our regular water we got to get our water lines put in and we're just gonna hold the up arrow until we get to 100 milliliters and we're gonna let go of the arrow and it will be calibrated so what I'm going to do now is just hold the button and this thing uh, it pumps pretty quick so here we go you got to hold the up arrow through this there we go no you don't have to hold it, my bad you really have to push on it, I don't know how it'll be on your guys' doser but some of the buttons you really got to push on let me go ahead and watch this it drips pretty quick 
Um, that's why I kind of like being able to uh, spread it out throughout the entire day. It takes me, uh, the last dose I did to get my alkalinity up was uh, 130 milliliters. And um, I was able to spread that out over 12 hours. So really gradual. So we're just calibrating the pump right now. As soon as this gets to 100 milliliters, I'm going to hit the up arrow again. And then there'll be a number that indicates the amount of revolutions it took for that particular dosing head to get to 100 milliliters. And it's pretty quiet. It's not noisy at all. Uh, my buddy has a different uh, dosing pump, very similar in style to this. But his is very, very loud. Sounds like a drill. Alright, we're almost there. That's 100. Alright, so it took 195 revolutions of that motor to get to 100 milliliters. That's how you calibrate it. Alright, so now that that's calibrated, we can go ahead and exit, hitting the, uh, let me show you. See if you can see those numbers or not. So now we can just hit escape. And now we're back to the main screen where it shows you the time and the date. So if you want to manually dose the pump, you hit the either left or right arrow. And then you can scroll through through with the left or right arrow to which pump you want to manually dose. So if you got like uh, food hooked up to one of these, you can go to pump four if that's the one with the food. And you just hold that middle button and let go. That's how you manually dose with it. So we can escape that. Now to uh, set your program, you hit the middle arrow button right here, right in the center. You're going to click that one and it's going to take you into the menu on to set the time or the date or to set program. I'll we'll just scroll down and go into that. To uh, enter either one of these, you just hit the middle button again. And now it'll say select pump in which you want to set. So I'm just going to do uh, pump one. It's going to ask you um, how many times per day you want this doser, this particular head, to dose. So right now I had it set for 16, but I'm actually going to go down to uh, 10. So it's going to go 10 times. It's going to turn on 10 times a day. Um, and I'm going to do that every half hour, and I'm going to be dosing uh, 13 mil. So I'm still trying to get my alkalinity up. So it'll ask you the intervals per day. Um, that one confused me, and it confused a lot of people on forums I saw. Basically what that means is the number of days in between doses. So if it doses Monday, and you have an interval of one day, it's going to skip Tuesday, then dose Wednesday, skip Thursday, then dose Friday. That's what that is. So zero intervals means we're going to dose that amount every day. So we're just going to keep that at zero and move on. Um, now it's asking you um, how much you want to dose. So I'm going to bring it down to 13. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so this is all for pump one, right? Or for uh, um, cycle one out of 10. So 13 mils, and you just hit the center button again and it's going to ask you what time. This works on a 24 hour time clock so it doesn't have AM PM. It's, it's 0 to 24 hours. That's how it works. So I want to set it. I want to start it here pretty soon. I gotta see what time it is. So I'm going to start it at uh, 10 o'clock. So that will give me time to get through the uh, video. So right now it's at 20. So we got to go down to 10. Okay, so that's 10 a.m. And then it's going to ask me number two, second dose of the day. We're going to do 13 mil again, and we're going to do 10:30. Okay, dosing time three, 13 mil, and we're going to do 11. So I'm going to be doing this every half hour. If you want to skip through this, go ahead. 
I'm not going to hurt my feelings because this is just repetition after this. Very easy to uh, to set. So there's a 11:30 for our fourth dose, and we're doing 10. So you can really spread this out. So now we're going to do noon, which is 12. Then we're going to do 13 mil again. We're going to do 12:30. Dosing 6, 13 mil, and we're doing 1300. Dosing 8, we're going to do 1330. And dosing 9, 13, and we're going to go to 1400. You can hold down the button too so it'll scroll. Okay. And last one is going to be 13, and we're going to be doing 1430s. So now that'll start dosing at 10 a.m. and dose to about 2. So now we're done there. We just hit the middle button again, and now it takes you back to which pump you want to select. I'm only going to do pump 1 for now, and we're just going to hit escape, and now the pump is set for its, uh, that's its schedule now, that's its program. And you do the same thing through all the pumps. All you do is just scroll to the next pump after you do one pump. But I'm only using one pump right now to get my ALK up. Pretty soon I'll be putting on my, uh, my Coral Colors program stuff from Red Sea and uh, uh, Calcium will be going on this as well. So uh, yeah guys, that's the uh, JB Day or JPJ, wow, the JBO DP4 dosing pump, um, four heads. It seems pretty durable. I've had it for uh, about three weeks now. It's it's pretty well constructed. I mean, it, it's cheap feeling, but it's also, I don't know, it's got a robustness to it, I guess. It's uh, very light, um, holds up well. It keeps the program very well. Before I ran any alkalinity through it to start dosing my tank, I actually had it set up literally for four days and I would have it drip into this measuring container with just RO water and I did that for almost four days just because you know nobody knows much about these yet and it was spot on every single time so very accurate pump as long as you calibrate it correctly so just make sure that when that thing hits 100 mils you turn the pump off and it'll be calibrated and the pumps are going to be very accurate um, as far as the longevity of it um, that's to be determined. Um, we'll see how long they last. I like that it did come with an extra pump head. Um, so if one breaks, I'll be able to replace it. Um, when the pumps turn on, the little light comes on next to it to tell you which pump is turned on right now. Okay, uh, This is your power one. And this one comes on when you have the expansion kit hooked up to it, the communication line on the back. That's for the expansion uh, um, doser. So the expansion doser doesn't have the screen. Um, it's just a box like this minus the screen and you set the expansion with this one because there's eight pump settings here. So I really hope that was insightful guys. I hope I covered everything. Um, I was kind of lost on whether or not I wanted to buy this thing or not because of the lack of reviews and the ones that were out there just frankly weren't all that great. But um, I recommend it at this point. I've only had it for three weeks so kind of take that as you want. Um, but it's been a great pump. I've been dosing my tank straight up for uh, a couple of weeks now with it with no ill effects and it drain or I'm sorry, it doses the correct amount every single time so and you can do it real gradually. So I can't wait honestly to uh, get my calcium all hooked up to this and also my uh, my coral colors program. I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get the expansion kit for it. Um, just in case there's anything else I want to dose, but very awesome uh, to have for the reef tank and it's going to keep the parameters uh, rock solid. Right now I'm still in the phase of uh, balancing out. I finally got the ALK up to where I wanted it and now I'm just kind of seeing what it uses every day. That way I can set the doser to that precise amount to uh, keep it rock solid all the time. So, Alright guys, I hope that helped and we'll uh, see you in the next one. I'll be having a, uh, an update coming on the tank. There is a lot that is changing. Um, that has changed a ton, a ton, a ton of coral growth. Um, some different equipment, some new equipment, amazing equipment. So, including this, but uh, there's, a, there's a rumor of a new skimmer. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we'll uh, see you in the next one. Later.